Welcome to Meet Ministry. That's missionary education and evangelistic training. Greetings, friends. This is Dr. Thomas Jackson, Director of Meet Ministry, coming to you just to give you an update that will help you to really understand the very love of God for us in these crisis times. We not only want to be crisis Focus in a sense, but we will be Christ centered. So, this update I want to share with you is God's plan, the best defense against infectious disease. According to Psalms 107, verse 20, the Bible said, God sends His word and heal us of all of our diseases and deliver us from all of our destruction. Building a healthy immune system during this time. The immune system is an intricate specialized and not so specialized of cells, structures, and organs. And the very mission of the immune system is to detect foreign organisms and tag them for destruction before they do harm to the body. There are four enemies to the immune system, four enemies to the immune system, bacteria, virus, parasites, and fungi. Do you hear what I said? There are four enemies to the, to the immune system. Bacteria, fungus, parasite, and viruses. We find that the immune system will detect these foreign organisms as they come into the body, tag them for destruction, and their immune system cells will devour them. You know, in Matthew 12, 29, it says, how can one enter to a strong man house except he first bind the strong man? The strong man in this case is the immune system. Now what binds the immune system and how can we build a healthy immune system? We call it God's plan. God's plan is the best defense against the invasion of infectious organisms. God's plan. Godly trust, open air, daily exercise, sunshine, proper rest, lots of water, always temperate and nutrition. God's plan. We can look at just one aspect of God's plan because we will do a series of these meetings, keep you updated. But not only that, encourage you to be not at fear or anxiety, but trusting God. Godly trust is the first law of God's plan. Godly trust is the answer to stress, anxiety, fear, discontent. When we are under those emotional stressors, it produces a chemical reaction within the brain that travels down to the adrenal gland that produces cortisol that suppresses the immune system. So we want to learn that perfect rest in God. You know, the Bible tells us in the book of, you know, John 16, 33, God said, my peace I give to you, not as the world gives to you, my peace. In this world, you will have tribulation. In Isaiah chapter 41, verse 14, God said, fear not, for I am with you. I will be your help. And we find further, God said in Isaiah 26, 3, God said, if my mind is stayed upon him, we will find perfect peace. This is God's plan to build a healthy immune system. Godly trust. Trust God in this time of distress that you might find rest. Finally, there are several things I like to leave you with to help support the immune system. Number one, oregano oil. Oregano oil. Two drops of oregano oil in a glass of water or unsweetened juice twice a day. Seven cloves of peeled garlic, steamed. Three to four cloves three times a day. Elderberry. Elderberry is another immune booster. 
these are some of the immune support formulas. Also, Leaves of Life Immune Support Tea, which is available from Meat Ministry. In closing, remember, we're not to be crisis center, but Christ center. For God said he would never leave us nor forsaken. He with us always. But remember, fear and anxiety depresses the immune system. In all our ways, let's acknowledge God and trust Him. Claim His promises because God is the author, the supreme, sovereign God. And there's nothing too hard for Him. God is with you. God will keep you. God will preserve you. And may God bless you until we come again with another installment with God's plan, the best defense against infectious disease. God's plan. Godly trust, open air, daily exercise, sunshine, proper rest, lots of water, always temperate, and nutrition. God's plan.